All right, so we're out here on the Deschutes with Amy. Finally made it down to the river. These waders are working perfect, totally dry. It's good that yours good. are, because mine are leaking. Are they really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the whole place to ourselves. A beautiful morning and a uh, nice big piece of water to fish once we teach you how to spay cast. And then part of the river that we're looking for that you were telling me about earlier is the part that's sort of more calm. That's right. right. It's so. You can see above us here, the, the river riffles and it right. breaks off the, the faster waters on the far bank there and in the middle. But right here, it's nice and smooth. And what we're looking for is water that's about three to six feet deep, the okay. speed of a fast walk okay. with boulder structure. We want structure in there because um, like a surfer will surf on a wave, mm -hmm. fish will surf where the, where the water hits a rock. There makes okay. a little bounce back. Like a kayaker can surf sure. on that, sure. so do fish. And so when they're moving up a run, they might find a boulder and sit in front of that boulder just to take a break so okay. they don't have to actually swim. So I'm gonna string this rod up and I'm gonna show you basically what spay casting is and then I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Awesome. This, what I'm doing right here, is called a roll cast where I roll the line down river. Okay. And what a spay cast is, is a basically like a change of direction roll cast. So with a spay cast, I lay my line out in front of me first. Okay. And then I bring it around and roll it out. And that way it lands out in the middle of the river and I can control my line then by mending the line. Okay. And we're gonna talk about the fishing aspect second, but we're gonna talk about the casting first. Now, we pick our cast based on the direction of the wind, okay. which way the wind is blowing. Because if the wind is blowing upriver, which it commonly does on the Deschutes, and I come around and make this cast right here as I'm forming this, this is called a D loop that I'm forming. If that blows into me, the fly hits me in the face. Which is always a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a good thing. When we grab onto a spay rod, we don't want to grab onto it like like it's a weapon or like it's a, a screwdriver. It's a we don't want this, we don't want this tight grip. We want to hold it really loosely on okay. top. And on the bottom, I don't even really hold it. I let it rotate in my bottom hand. Okay. Okay, so this is called a two-handed rod. This is a spay rod or a two-handed rod. These were invented in Scotland on the river spay. So I'm gonna have you stand right here. Okay. <laughs> don't fall down. <laughs> and the cast that I'm gonna teach you first is called a circle cast, where we lay the line up on this side of our okay. body sweep around and make the cast. And let me break the cast down into three steps for you, okay? Step number one, before we start any speed cast, our line is, is straight, hanging down straight below us. Okay. And that line is sort of like a big piece of scotch tape on a dining room table. Okay. If we want to pick the tape up, we can't just pick up a little bit and then pull. We have to go tick, 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 okay. That's called breaking line tension before we move the line. Okay. So the very first step that I make is to lift, 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 and then I can make my second step, which is a circle. And the circle is basically one of the ways we set the line up in front of us. So the first, the first circle we're gonna make, we just lift up, 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 up. And you see where my rod is pointed. If this is a clock face, my rod's about at two o'clock, okay. right? And I'm gonna make a full circle and bring my rod back to two o'clock. Okay. And now I'm ready to cast. I've okay. made a setup. Now, what I want you to notice when I make the setup, I want you to notice this. This is the line leader junction right here. Okay. This is where the leader, which is clear, uh -huh. meets the end of the line. This is what I want your eyes to look at the whole time you're casting. Because if your eyes aren't focused on this, you could hit yourself in the face with the fly. Okay. Okay, this is called your anchor point, and you're gonna look at this every time. So when I make my setup, I want my anchor point to land on the side of the body that I'm gonna cast off of. Okay. I know this is a ton of information. It's gonna make a lot more sense when you see it all together here. Yeah. So first thing first, get the scotch tape off the table and then make a circle. And now I want you to look at where the anchor is. Do you see the anchor point out there? Yep. Yep. It is one rod length off my left shoulder. Okay. It, it lands right here. Okay. This is where I want it to land. You see that loop right there? Yep. That's called the D loop. This is exactly like a pulling back on a drawstring of a bow and arrow. See, you're a natural. Your heart should be, because there could be a fish in front of that rock.